After double clicking on your KeePass icon, you'll see a little window open up like this. It asks for a couple of different things. One is your master password, which is the one password you're going to have to learn in order to access all of your other passwords, and then a key file, which is also used as an additional security feature. What you will need to do is just to put in your master password, and I'm going to put mine in now. and click OK. Now you'll see a variety of password files open up. And I am going to click on Software Passwords. Now you can create passwords for files. Uh, for instance, I create passwords for all of the electronic files I send. Uh, passwords for work, passwords for things that you do at home, passwords for email, password for websites. Um, but in this particular case, we're going to create uh, a password file for a piece of software. And they all operate just about the same way. I'm going to click here on the Add Entry key. So I'm going to add a password entry under Software Passwords. I'm going to put in the title of the software, My Software. I'm going to put in the username that I might use with that piece of software. And then I'm going to go to the button that says Generate a Random Password. Another window opens up, and I have a profile created that has all of the conventions I need to create a strong password for my file. I click the Generate button at the bottom of the page, and it generates an eight-character strong password. I accept that password, and it drops it into the Password and Password Repeat boxes. I can put down the URL for that software product. I can make any notes in here about my password and, and security for opening this product. I can attach a file to this um, password entry if I need to do that. And when I am done, I can click OK. If at any point I'd like to see that password I generated, I can click on the Hide Passwords button, and it will show it to me. But I'm going to click OK, and you'll see the My Software entry that I just made. Now when I want to access that entry to open up this piece of software, I can double click on it. Again, it's going to open up the Edit Entry window, and it will display my password there. 